over the radio. It wasn't a one in wonder for her. She went on to sing songs like Hurts to be Alone, Lonesome Feeling, and as she told me, over 20 something songs. Now, what strikes me about WKS is she was so modest and she saved up her money. And she said, Big Stone, from time to time when we used to go up the studio to meet Mr. Dad, the group was so poor that she had to buy Bullock with her change and feed Bob, Peter, and Bunny and Junior. Fast forward to the year 2023 when she came to Jamaica last year. And they were honoring everybody with the honor of distinction, the honor of merit, the honor of this and all of that. And I called George Barnes and George Beverly Kelsey's in town. We need to do something for this legend, this icon that is swept under the carpet. And George said, of course, then I called DJ Nicolini. And we purchased three of the biggest trophies one could ever imagine. And we honor Beverly Kelsey. The video went viral. People from all over the world was clamoring. Where was this lady? How come we don't hear much about her? What happened to her? Did she make any money from the group? But let me tell you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, they didn't make a penny. For all the sounds that she sung, she didn't do or make a penny. After about three years, she migrated to the United States. And then she went to live with her family. But original dance author said, my friend O'Neill is doing for her. Putting her to the four corners of the world like I did. Because that's what I do, living for the sake of others. And I said to myself, Beverly, you didn't make no money from all those songs. But you still have a legacy. You still have a story come back to Jamaica and write your book. And guess what? She's back to, in Jamaica to write her book, My Childhood Days as a Whaler. This Sunday, she will be celebrating her 76th birthday. She's an elderly woman. She should be living on the hill up there by Cherry Gardens or Jackson. But she's still living in the cold in the Bronx. And we must respect her and change that. And I promise I will change that for Beverly. So tonight I'm not going to even be much longer. I just want to salute you, O'Neill, Peter Mitchell, all the people and the sponsors from the United States of America, for what you all did for Beverly. She's a crybaby and so am I. I'm eternally grateful for all of you coming out and paying respect because most of you have never seen her before. But you will get a chance to see her and here she sings, sing her down, and it hurts to be alone. Thank you all for coming out. Yes. And you will see Beverly Kenzo, a living legend, a living icon, one of the greatest reggae crew that ever come out of Jamaica. This woman was a part of this. This woman was the foundation. This woman is on her shoulders. Every single female who became somebody is standing today. Thank you. Keep the applause going. Thank you so much, Mr. Big Stone. Oh, yes. A Jamaican genuine. Thank you for your contribution to music, to our culture, to, you know, everything that is a fiber of Jamaica, our society, and who we are as a people. Big Stone, please keep the applause going. And let's have a run. All right. So, you know, it is all about Mighty Diamonds. Of course, Miss the beautiful Beverly Kelso, the last surviving member of the greatest entertainment group to ever emerge from Jamaica, talking about the Whalers. The number one entertainment band and group emerging from Jamaica. She had the first hit song with the band. She entered the arena of music at only a tender age of 14 years old with the permission of her mother. Met Bob in a yard one day, singing, and he said, Beverly, we want you to come along, you know, we hear you up on the stage, you are going to believe in your talent, and we want, to be a part. we want you to be a part of the Whalers group. And she did. Her mother gave her permission, and the rest is history. And as a result, we're here tonight honoring this beautiful queen among us. Miss Beverly Kelso, ladies and gentlemen, let's honor a living legend.
That is all. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Beverly Kelso. Blessings and love. We honor you, my dear.
bad man. People, turn the, ca turn the camera in the crowd. All who respect the only person from bad man in the wheelhouse. And still in it today. We'll put out of the air soon. Everybody deadly fire. She started out little girl with Bob Marley, 14 year old. She had the original wheelers. And Syria is a part of history. That's why people love that platform here. Can we tell Big Stone, say me one tarp on this rubber dove jersey. Hence, you uh, bring tears to my eye. Sing this song again. Sing it again before me honor your baby. I'm here in 
ชมีค่ะแล้วไทยมาเจอสิงอะไรลงพาจับสิมาดอง I I hope I may live to see next year that I may be able to come back and give my people another little part of me.